Is it possible to know what's on a person's mind? Yes, it is possible and interestingly, there is nothing magical about it. Alan Pease, an Australian body language expert, wrote about this. Mimics, gestures and other body movements can unmask a person and tell you what they really think or feel. According to experts, 55% of what we convey comes from body language, 38 from the tone of voice and only 7% of what we actually say. When you're meeting someone for the first time, you can be inundated with different pieces of information about them. You could want to figure out what the person means even though you are watching their lips. Too many times, we mean something else while we are saying another thing entirely. Being able to read people like a book isn't just a psychological tactic you need to add to your book. It will help you know people instantly and where your red light flashes. You can stop the relationship or connection before it goes any further just to protect yourself. It can be hard to work out what kind of person someone is when you're meeting them for the first time. That's why it's important to understand how we all communicate. If you want to discover a person's personality the first time you meet them, pay attention to the following clues. 1. Eye contact Just by looking at the eyes, you can always tell what's in a person. The eyes, they say, are the window to the soul. If you want to gain insight into a person through their eyes, you must consider the context within which your conversation is taking place and make your judgment. If they can't take their eyes off you, it may mean that person is romantically interested in you. On the flip side, if you look someone in the eyes while talking with them and they can't look back and keep averting their eyes, they either have something to hide or they are nervous. On the other side, if you're talking to a person and they remain still, not blinking, not saying anything, where their stare makes you uncomfortable and it seems not to be disclosing anything, something is wrong, they are lying to you. 2. Appearance Just by what they are putting on, you can gain insight into a person's appearance. Judith Olaf, MD in Psychology Today, says that when reading others, observe their appearance. The way people dress shows to a great extent who they are and what they believe in. To know who a person is, what are they wearing? If they are dressed neatly like a successful person, it shows they are ambitious. If they are putting on jeans and t-shirts, they appreciate comfort. Also, do they have a pendant such as a cross of Buddha which indicates their spiritual values? You can easily tell who they are just by watching what they wear. Sam Gosling, a personality psychologist at the University of Texas and author of the book Snoop, says that you should pay attention to identity claims. Identity claims are things that people add to their appearances such as a t-shirt with slogans, tattoos or rings to show who they are. Sam Gosling said, identity claims are deliberate statements we make about our attitudes, goals, values, etc. One of these things that are really important to keep in mind about identity statements is because they are deliberate. Many people assume we are being manipulative with them and we are being disingenuous. But I think there's a little evidence to suggest that that goes on. I think generally, people really do want to be known. They'll even do that at the expense of looking good. They would rather be seen authentically than positively if it came down to that choice. They would rather be seen authentically than positively if it came down to that choice. 3. Eyebrows if you want to know if a person is comfortable around you or not, observe their eyebrows. People's eyebrows will go up for three reasons, surprise, worry or fear. If you're talking with a person and they raise their eyebrows too often, where the topic of discussion shouldn't even cause surprise, worry or fear, it is an indication that they are uncomfortable around you. It is hard to raise your eyebrow when you are having a casual relaxed conversation with a friend. But if a person keeps raising their eyebrows, know they are not into the conversation and would rather be somewhere else than with you. 4. What they say Observe this. People often talk about who they are without knowing. Studies have shown that how a person describes others shows how they themselves really are. If a person describes others as kind, polite, well-mannered and loving, they are likely to possess same attitudes. If you meet someone for the first time and all they talk about is how good and wonderful some people are, 
it is also certain that they are wonderful people themselves. A backstabbing person who describes others as worthless and manipulative may also have possessed these traits. Otherwise, they may have a history of personality disorder or depression. 5. Closing your eyes Just because a person is closing his eyes doesn't mean he is scared of you. Most people get this psychological trick wrong. He's trying to keep himself from you and from the outside world. Your message isn't that they are scared of you. Actually, they just wish they weren't with you and want you to be gone from their sight. 6. Crossed arms or legs If you've been in a meeting or a date where someone crosses his arms, you should not take that as a sign they are into the conversation. Contrarily, it is a sign they are trying to shut themselves out of the conversation. When a person's arms or legs are crossed, it is a sign of a physical barrier that indicates that person is not interested in what you're saying. Notwithstanding that they may be smiling and giving you the impression that they are engaged in the conversation. Crossing the arms or the legs is a way a person blocks himself mentally, emotionally and physically from what's before them. It's the same with the position of their legs. If a person is enjoying your company, their feet faces forward. If they just want to get away from your company as soon as possible, their feet face the door. 7. Shoes what a person wears on his feet can tell you a lot about their personality. We're quick to make judgments about people based on the shoes they are wearing. Apparently, some studies agree that such quick judgment is right. Nervous people will have clean and new shoes. Calm people prefer uncomfortable shoes. People who are amiable wear practical shoes, while aggressive people wear ankle shoes. 8. Appearance have you ever doubted that how you dress speaks volumes about your personality? It's so true. A person who has a detailed personality will have their clothes neatly pressed, their hair clean, and they are often fashionable. A creative or messy person has a more casual wardrobe. A lazy person, however, could look unkept and smelly. 9. Holding baby It's funny, right? But how a person holds a baby shows their state. When next you meet a new mom, observe the arms where the baby is placed. Some studies have shown that if the mom placed the baby on the left arm, she is a happy mom. But if the baby is placed on the right arm, she is stressed, depressed or generally unhappy. 10. Leaning back or forward It's easy to know if a person is enjoying your company or really wish to get away from you as fast as possible. Just watch how they are leading. Are they leaning forward or backward? If a person is leaning forward, it is an indication that they are enjoying the conversation and your company. It also shows they respect you and would love to confide in you. However, if they lean back, they want out of that conversation and they are simply uncomfortable in your presence. 11. Putting legs on the desk When a person outs his feet on the table, it's saying a lot of things. He could be attempting to tell you he is the boss, or this could mean bad manners or disrespect for you. It could just simply mean that the person is concerned about their own health. Psychologists believe that if you feel comfortable in this position, you shouldn't rest like this anywhere but home. 12. Handshake How a person shakes hands also tells a lot about the person. If he softly shakes hands or is eager to release his hand, he is likely submissive or a pushover. If he shakes it too hard and crushing, he belongs to the domineering group. How long the handshake lasts is also important to show a person's personality. If the handshake is too long, that's weird. If it's too short, it could indicate some form of conflict. The person may not want to make a deep connection with you. But it could also mean that they don't have much time. 13. Posture You can tell a person's level of self-confidence by how they carry themselves. If they work upright with their shoulders back and looking straight ahead, they obviously feel good about themselves and have confidence. However, if someone is slouching over and looking at the ground when they work, they give a much different impression. It may not necessarily mean that they have low self-esteem. But that's the message it gives off. If this video has helped you to learn how to read anyone instantly, subscribe to this channel. We love you.